The push-pull tool is the second option in this position of the toolbar. The push-pull tool offers another way for us to manipulate the geometry of our 3D models, moving the selected elements closer to or further away from a defined pivot point. Pivot points were covered in video 14. The pivot point is set in the Transform Pivot Point panel. Using our selected vertices, we can see how each pivot point option affects the result we achieve. Bounding box sets the pivot point to the center of the smallest box that encloses all of the currently selected elements. 3D Cursor places the pivot point at the location of the 3D Cursor. Individual Origins uses separate pivot points for each element. Each of these pivot points are located at the origin of the selected element. Median point is the default setting and moves the selected elements relative to a point, which is the average of the coordinates of those elements. Active element places the pivot point at the origin of the active element, which is usually the last item to be selected. The last op panel for the push-pull tool has only three entries, with only the first being discussed here. Distance specifies the distance moved by each element. Negative values move away from the pivot point. Positive values move towards it. As we move the elements, in the top left corner of the 3D viewport, we can see the distance traveled. Also during the drag process, the status bar displays additional options which affect the result being produced. X, Y, and Z allow us to restrict movement to a specific direction. Shift and X, Y, or Z restricts movement to a specific plane, the forbidden dimension being the one identified by the key that has been pressed. Hence, Shift Z allows movement in the X and Y directions only. The C key option only appears if we have used one of the earlier options to restrict movement to one or two directions. In that case, pressing C cancels the restriction, allowing normal movement once again. Control inverts the current snapping setting only while this key is being held down. By default, snapping will be set to increment making the push-pull operation proceed in discrete steps. Shift-Tab inverts the snapping setting permanently, with the change persisting even after the push-pull operation is complete. Manage to press the middle mouse button at the same time as the left one, and the three axes will appear in the viewport along with a broken white line. Move the mouse so that the white line approaches one of the axes, and movement will be restricted to that axis. Once the axis has been selected, the middle mouse button can be released. By also holding down the Shift key at the same time as the left and middle mouse buttons, we'll again see the broken white line. Move the line near the axis to be omitted, and the movement will be restricted to the other two dimensions. Again, all but the left mouse button can be released after a selection has been made. Hold the Shift key while dragging for finer control over the push-pull operation, making mouse movements less effective. Although we might compare this tool to scaling when using the median pivot point, the two options create different results when we try expanding part of a sphere in the X direction.